You ready to go, Joe? Sure. There we It's an hour before sunrise at Spokane's busiest course, and 13 intrepid golfers are getting a big head start. Good shot. You're crazy, huh? Yeah, I'm insane. Did, I didn't realize you were crazy the first time. No, I'm crazy. You have to be crazy, at least about the game, to take part in this event. It's a summer solstice golf marathon. <laughs> Four courses, one day, 72 holes. For the first couple of hours, they will hit glow-in-the-dark golf balls while jogging the hills at Indian Canyon. Yeah. We're here to play golf, have fun, and try to survive. After that, it's a race with the sun to finish 72 holes over four different courses before darkness sets in and before their legs give out. Have fun, boy. All right, see you at the end. Rule number one, you're under your own power the entire way. Well, that's a given, and when you tell people about it, that's the first thing they say. Oh, and we'll be taking carts. And you go, no, it's walking only. Yeah. And then that cuts out 80% of the yeah. people interested. The number of participants has grown each year since Doug Kearsley played his first marathon in 2010. That first year, he did it all by himself. My wife, Patty, went to the airport, and I dropped her off to go. She was going to visit the children, so about six, five at night or so. So I went to the Qualshan and played it. Then I woke up in the morning and realized I was home alone and there wasn't anybody around, so I played the canyon early. Then I went and played uh, uh, downriver, and I thought, well, shoot, if I run over to Esley, I played all four city courses in 28 hours. Now they have it down to a science, playing on a Monday when the courses are less crowded, but the Monday closest to the summer solstice, the longest day of the year. Many of them have learned to do whatever they can to conserve energy. Just trying to catch shade where you can, but, you know, feeling strong and anything they can do to speed up play. Oh yeah, just fewer practice swings, uh, ready golf, uh, kind of the way golf should be played, but uh, yeah, not wasting any energy and uh, hitting when we're ready. If one of them loses a golf ball, he's usually the only one looking for it. Sometimes, depends how often that happens. They set it up to get the two most difficult walking courses out of the way first. So by the time they finish at the creek at Fulton, they're averaging better than three hours per 18 holes. 227 minutes around Indian Canyon walking. The trip between golf courses is the only time motorized transportation is allowed, and it allows them to refresh. A little air conditioning, a quick lunch. Well, I got just a couple sandwiches, some chips, uh, a lot of water. And most importantly, a change of socks. Oh, I'm just getting them off for the drive over, you know, get a little air in them. Feels refreshing. Gives you some new life in there. It's not yet 10 a.m. as they head for leg number three, and they're making pretty good time. Yeah, we're actually about 20 minutes ahead of schedule right at the moment. And we're heading to Down River. We're on the way. Once they get to Down River, it's prime golfing time, and things slow down considerably. Fulton, we got down there, and we finished that in three hours, I think, in 20 minutes. And now we're just sort of stuck in the flow, so this will be about a four hour and 15 minute yeah. perhaps round. On the upside, the greens have dried out. Everyone is warmed up and playing pretty good golf by now. Three pars, not bad. And that's the most important part of this event. It's hole after hole after hole, just hitting a good shot, hitting the next shot, making the putt, and getting the thrill and enjoyment of golf without worrying about your score. One of the rewards for hitting straight accurate shots is being able to walk a somewhat straight line between tee and green. The fewer steps they have to take, the fresher the legs will be as the day goes on. Crawling up those hills at Qualchin was a bit of a struggle. Yeah, yeah. Here it's not bad, and Ezzy will be easy. Yeah. You know, easy Ezzy. Hopefully we won't get stuck behind any slow play there. Slow play was not really an issue at Esmeralda Golf Course. It's the home stretch. I'm, I've been looking forward to it for a while. With the sun hanging low in the sky as they made the final turn on the final course of the day, it was more about finishing in good form. Legs getting a little sore. Yeah. A little sore, yeah? But uh, there's no stopping now. Nine to go. You just keep plugging away, do what you gotta do, get to the end, and uh, look for a cold beer. I need a fix. Some of the rookies needed a little help finishing out. I need some of the eye. Ibuprofen. Where does it hurt? <laughs> Everywhere. But over the final holes, adrenaline kicks in, and they're able to finish the way they started, with a quick step and some clutch shots. Oh yeah! yeah. Par. Every finisher cheered on the group behind them. Hey, Jeff, nice job, buddy. Beauty, you're the man. 
and everyone made it home with a smile. Come on, bring it in, bring it in. From the first tee shot at 3.30 a.m. to the final putt of the evening, it was a little over 16 and a half hours. We finished two minutes, within two minutes of when I scheduled we would be done. And nobody was asking, what did you shoot? My group in particular does not even know their score. Some of them, it's, they don't even care. They do, however, keep score. What'd you guys have? In fact, they keep a lot more than that. When we're done, I print out a big report for everybody that gives them uh, fairways, greens and regulation, how many putts, one putts, two putts, three putts they had, how many birdies, bogeys, pars, how many hazards they were in. Wow. Um, so it becomes this big elaborate spreadsheet. The spreadsheet will not contain the other vital stats, which were available immediately. 58,505 steps, 163 flights of stairs, 28.75 miles, 8,734 calories. <laughs> what, what, uh, you feel thinner? You need to have I hope my wife notices. For all, this was just the beginning of a summer of golf. The boys of the solstice plan on finishing that strong, and along the way they'll be recruiting others for next year's marathon. In order to do this, you have to have two, two things. You need to be a prof fairly proficient golfer, let's just say under a 20 handicap. Yeah which is fine, under a 20 handicap, but then you just got to be in good enough shape to run the downhills of the canyon, walk the uphills, and, and walk 28 miles or 27 miles. And if you're athletic and healthy enough to do that and you can swing a club fairly decent, that's all we're looking for.